So we got a question this morning from Claire um, asking how do we make money in the Algarve? That's good. <laughs> it's just making us laugh. But um, we did actually get a question from Claire this morning asking um, how we find houses and properties in Portugal and also how do you make money in the Algarve, Portugal. So when we moved here in 2019, um, this was in the January, we hadn't actually come out of Brexit at the time, we were still in the European Union. Um, so it did actually allow us the flexibility to actually go back to the UK at Christmas um, to make some money. Well, we were making arts and crafts. Yeah, plaques, wooden letters, a few hats. And we actually made the plaques in September before um, the Christmas show, which we had to leave, I think it was the beginning of the November. So we had about two and a half months before we realised we were actually running out of money to do the house renovation. So we decided to make the plaques that we'd sold in the UK and to go back to the market and do a Christmas market for six weeks. And that made enough money to make us continue. So by the time we got back to the January, um, the COVID had hit and we'd also come out of the Brexit situation, so we couldn't go back to the UK. It wasn't an option for us. So we really, when we bought the house, it was never our forever house because it didn't have a garden. It ticked an awful lot of boxes and we love out, don't we? Yes. So when we came back from doing our Christmas show in um, the UK, um, we'd earned enough money to put a roof on the house, but it actually wasn't enough money to survive on. And as much as we love out, which we do with a passion, um, if we sold our house, we could not afford a house with the amount of land what we're buying now. So we've had to move away from out and we're in a more isolated situation and we are um we've got a house which is the same size as our house in now we've got like a smaller house which we're going to be doing all and we've got two acres of land and that's what we actually came here to the Algarve for yeah. which was <laughs> stop <laughs> <laughs> He's saying that he can only say yes because I'm so bossy. Yes. We, <laughs> because he keeps saying things that just don't make sense. Anyway, um, so we, we're we actually, we've got enough land and a house and half a house. And this is what we actually came to the Algarve for. And we want to have a, an off-grid life and be self-sustainable. and. Although the, the house, which was the terrace house, wasn't what we wanted in Alps, we actually did it and it's actually, because we renovated it, it actually gave us the opportunity to actually move on to get what we actually came here to the Algarve for. So the ambition, the ambition was to buy a house originally with a small amount of funds, renovate the property as fast as we could, right, which took us roughly about two and a half years made enough profit to buy our dream property we wanted originally but we couldn't afford to buy leaving enough money over to buy the machinery the tools and to do the renovation and also be able to live and that's how you manage to survive in portugal because the cost of living here is very cheap yeah. uh, overall the electric is cheap uh, <coughs> compared to the rest of europe we, right we just got our, our electric bill in this month and we just paid it we got, got it in saturday it was 37 euros yes um, our water bill was 15 euros, so again, really cheap. Um, now, Claire did actually ask another question, 
which was how do we find properties in Portugal or the Algarve? The best deals is normally to go on foot and actually look and go to each bar. But if you want to buy properties at premium price, you end up having to go to estate agents, which will have them on. But um, trust me, the best way is always to go to Portugal, go to the bars and inquire. Yeah. Now, the thing is, is that in other videos, we have actually put um, that you can find the numbers on some of the doors as you're actually uh, driving round. But there's other places that you can actually look where you can get um, direct from the owners without actually going through a state agent. And one of the best places is the funeral places. When you want people die at funerals, I'm wait, I'm wait outside <laughs> and attack the family. He's so wrong on so many <laughs> levels. No, the, one of the ones that um, owners go direct is Pure Portugal. Make sure it's the property page. And they do the whole of Portugal. And another one is Idealista. But on Idealista, also the estate agents do jump on that one as well. But if you can bypass the estate agent and go straight to the owners, you will save yourself money. And um, a lot of money. That is the way to go. So, Claire, I hope we've answered your questions. But, and um, yeah. Little bells wait. And always home. visit the crematorium during the funerals because you'll always get a good opportunity. Mm -hmm.